gentlemen, my name is Piers Ridyard. I'm the CEO of RDX Works, a core developer of the decentralized finance protocol Radix, a public ledger entirely focused on bringing DeFi to the mainstream. And today I have for you Lucas from AussieSwap. Yeah. And we're going to be talking a little about, bit about AussieSwap and their decentralized exchange. Lucas, was ist los? Was ist los? Ja, hallo, erstmal vielen Dank, Mr. Piers. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what AussieSwap is. So OCSwap is the front page of Radix, basically. So it's like a coin market cap overview of about every listed token. Okay. So you can actually explore and also trade and exchange all the uh, token listed on our exchange. Yeah. So we are like Uniswap, we're free with concentrated liquidity. Yeah. Uh, but uh, of course, have all the great tech of, of Radix behind it. So uh, we are avoiding uh, something like um, blind signing. Right. Uh, so people can trade with confidence because they're actually knowing what they're doing. Right. So with the human readable manifest and stuff like that. So that's really cool. So basically, Uniswap V3 was a really interesting breakthrough yeah. indexes. This idea of being able to do concentrated liquidity rather than just having to use a single function across like an infinite space yeah. of pricing. Um, and I, the, I think that's really impressive. Like, what I don't think people realize is quite how complex Uniswap v3 is versus Uniswap v2. It's, it's a completely it different beast. Yeah. And the fact that you guys have gone straight to Uniswap v3, I don't think there's any other platform where someone has built Uniswap v3 as the first DEX that happens on yeah, top of a new platform. Yeah. Um, so that, that's awesome. How were you guys able to manage yeah. all of that complexity as your first yeah, product? We could already build up some confidence uh, with our pre-Babylon uh, prototype, the C Dex, you know. Yeah. So that's a uni v two like uh, Dex. Right. So we could already uh, gather some 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 knowledge and also build up. Yeah. Uh, over time, and uh, we are very honourable that we could uh, join even more team members uh, at the time. So we have now around six or seven developers uh, just focusing on on crypto front end, back end. Uh, so they are so so. Uh, such a great team and they are so heavily focused building and it's just um, I'm so proud to be part of it so, so it makes so much fun to be around with those guys they're so so brilliant right also with uh, Florian as head of developing he is like uh, like it's, it's so it's so great so uh, they, they came up with so many great ideas also yeah. to um, not not just bringing uh, like Uniswap with feed to to Radix, yeah. also to bring up way more ideas, yeah. uh, like also from for our token utility and stuff yeah. like that. So to bring up way more good ideas from already existing other protocols, yeah. but maybe stick the best together, like yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. like different Legos, you know. <laughs> That's very exciting, and like you guys, I think have done a really awesome job of branding yourselves yeah. and building a community. Yeah. Um, you've been walking around consensus dressed as a cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is fantastic and it wasn't just like a crappy it wasn't just a crappy suit it was like a really <laughs> really nice suit it's like a proper like disneyland quality it's great I, I think your cranes were, were helpful for that as well the what sorry your cranes were helpful for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Money well spent. <laughs> Money well spent. Thank you so, so much. So, like, how did the how did you come up with the concept for the like identity of Ossiswap? Uh, with the identity, yeah, yeah so, with the brand identity, because yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you guys have done more than anyone else in creating like a, a, a mascot, a brand identity, yeah, yeah. a culture. So I, I, I would say the real father, father of OC Swap is Marco. He's really way more in the back, like like Florian and me. So we're visible everywhere. So Marco is now in the back. He really wants uh, to stay more. Uh, he's probably sitting here, there, going, "Stop talking about me! <laughs> Stop it! Stop talking so, about me!" So he's the really Marco. Yes. You're awesome. Keep it up. <laughs> so he's. The, we came up with the brand identity, the ideas, the design of the mascot yeah. already uh, before I even joined as a co-founder. And uh, he thought this is a great identity for any sort of DeFi, uh, whatever application. Right. Uh, the afterthought was basically the uh, DEX itself. Okay. So that was quite funny. Oh, thinking about that. So, so we're going to see like Aussie Land, <laughs> Aussie Swap. Aussie, Aussie Verse, of course. Aussie, Aussie Perps, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> Whatever. amazing. And so, um, talk a little bit about what you guys have done so far. Like, what, what yeah. you, you, what, what's your current traded volume? Uh, so, with the CDEX, uh, we are um, having around uh, 250,000 uh, traded volume in, in dollars. Per day? Uh, uh, no, in, per, in, week? In, in per week. So, per so, week? Yeah, so. Two, three hundred thousand yeah, dollars of yeah. traded volume per yeah. week. Yeah, so 
Yeah, of course. We, and that's just Radix tokens, just as in just Radix yeah. community tokens. Right, this is just uh, inside it. This is still quite, quite small yeah. uh, community. So obviously we're setting our goals to, yeah. as, a, as a core metric to, 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 to grow each, yeah. each week by week. And obviously the, the major milestone with Babylon enables a real smart contract functionality. So this will allow us to grow even further because most people are not really so comfortable using like something uh, that's more centralized like like at the moment right but afterwards i think there's no more limits right so right. looking forward to that yeah. yeah 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 and what what are you most excited about um sort of coming up for babylon um i i guess so the next next big thing what we want to announce is our our, our token utilities yeah so people are still maybe not not really for, not really know what what we actually want to do with right. besides governance yeah uh, so we are so many awesome ideas already and so so looking forward to share that okay very soon and uh, so that's really more like a like you said an oc verse or, yeah. or, or so more more brand identity all around not just the decks right, right. so it's so i think that people will like that uh, to see that that we're doing that more than just yeah. the decks right yeah, so yeah, yeah. and that's what i'm looking forward to most actually and, and if you were going to be giving any advice to other founders about the best way of sort of building a community um, mm. What would you say you've learned from building the Aussie community? I think um, most funders maybe not so, uh, don't, don't, not really like to be so so present with your face or to, to be around, right? Um, I think it's very important for, for the brand identity, not just to have a, a cute mascot like an Aussie cat, also to have uh, some, some faces around, right? Uh, being around in the, in the community all the time, being active, responsive, in, in the chat online but also offline like right. events uh, here in consensus yeah. and also going to community events uh, i've been to dortmund in, in the first german german radix community event for instance and also last year five six uh, conventions so i think it's so important to be around and to, to show your face to be, be confident what you're doing right to really show that that you are responsible for what you're doing right yeah. and so that's maybe one of the really really um, you can separate uh, uh, your brand or your product, whatever you're building, uh, from other people, or maybe more like uh, hiding or anonymous, right? So, uh, especially in crypto, trust is so important, especially in the early stage when there's not, um, the, the protocol is not really right decentralized enough, so there's more trust needed in, in, mm. uh, in a small entity, right? Mm. So, I think that's really important that you're being around and uh, showing, showing yourself, right? Okay. Okay, and so um, you can already use Aussie Swap right now. Yeah. So if people want to go and use Aussie Swap, where should they go? Uh, so uh, we are live already with the uh, first prototype is yeah. on AussieSwap.com. AussieSwap.com. Yeah. So you can already it's it's look and feel like like a real Dex. Yeah. It isn't, but <laughs> it looks like it. Right. So you can already swap uh, over fifty uh, tokens we have already listed. Yeah. Uh, you can swap them. Also provide liquidity on yeah. custodial wallets. Yeah. And we we do the switch with Babylon to fully decentralized wallets, of course. Fantastic, yeah. really, yeah. really exciting. Yes. So definitely go and check it out, get a feel for it. If you find something that you like, go and say it in the OssiSwap community, go and meet some guys there. If you find something that you could think could be improved, also give that feedback. It always helps people make better products. And uh, huge congratulations to you and Florian and to Marco and the Thank rest of so the much. team for what you guys have built. Thank you so much. Also, so, so happy to be part of the first uh, cohort. Uh, was uh, really uh, from day one it was uh, just a, su such a joy for for us for for our team to be part of it thank You're you welcome. so much for you. You're welcome yeah <laughs>